title, The Haunting of Oakwood High. At Oakwood High School, nestled among the trees on the outskirts of town, whispered tales of the supernatural were as common as the autumn breeze. Students spoke in hushed tones about the eerie occurrences that seemed to plague the school, each story more chilling than the last. Legend had it that Oakwood High was built upon an ancient burial ground, and the restless spirits of the past still roamed its halls. One particularly harrowing tale involved the tragic fate of a student named Emily, who had mysteriously vanished without a trace during a school play rehearsal many years ago. Despite the warnings and rumors, new students continued to enroll at Oakwood High, unaware of the darkness that lurked within its walls. Among them was Sarah, a transfer student with a fascination for the paranormal. On her first day, Sarah couldn't shake the feeling of being watched as she walked down the dimly lit corridors. Strange shadows seemed to dart in and out of sight, and cold drafts sent shivers down her spine. As the weeks passed, Sarah became increasingly drawn to the mystery surrounding Emily's disappearance. She spent countless hours in the school library, poring over old newspaper clippings and yearbooks in search of clues. But the more Sarah dug, the more unsettling the truth became. It seemed that Emily's vanishing was just the tip of the iceberg, with reports of other unexplained incidents scattered throughout the school's history. Determined to uncover the truth, Sarah enlisted the help of her classmates, forming a makeshift paranormal investigation team. Together, they delved deeper into the secrets of Oakwood High unaware of the horrors that awaited them. Little did they know, the spirits that haunted the school were growing restless, their presence becoming increasingly malevolent with each passing day. And as Sarah and her friends ventured further into the darkness, they would soon discover that some secrets were never meant to be unearthed. The haunting of Oakwood High had only just begun. As the days turned into weeks, the atmosphere at Oakwood High grew increasingly tense. Strange occurrences became commonplace, with whispers of unseen forces lurking in the shadows and phantom footsteps echoing through the empty halls. Sarah and her friends pressed on with their investigation, undeterred by the growing sense of dread that hung in the air. Armed with cameras, voice recorders, and a determination to uncover the truth, they ventured into the darkest corners of the school, where the spirits were said to be most active. Their efforts yielded chilling results as they captured EVPs of ghostly voices, captured strange orbs of light on camera, even experienced inexplicable cold spots that seemed to follow them wherever they went. But as they delved deeper into the mysteries of Oakwood High, they soon realized that they were not alone. A sinister presence began to make itself known, its malevolent energy palpable and suffocating. Doors slammed shut on their own accord. Objects moved inexplicably and terrifying apparitions appeared in the dead of night. Sarah and her friends found themselves trapped in a nightmare from which there seemed to be no escape. With each passing day, the veil between the living and the dead grew thinner, and the spirits of Oakwood High grew more powerful. It became increasingly clear that they harbored dark secrets that they would stop at nothing as the lines between reality and nightmare blurred, Sarah and her friends found themselves locked in a battle for their very souls. And as the darkness closed in around them, they realized that the true horror of Oakwood High had yet to 
to reveal itself. Despite their growing fear, Sarah and her friends refused to abandon their quest for answers. They were determined to unravel the mysteries of Oakwood High, no matter the cost. As they delved deeper into the school's dark history, they uncovered tales of tragedy and betrayal that spanned generations. It seemed that every corner of the school held a secret, and the spirits that dwelled within its walls were determined to keep them hidden. But with each revelation came new dangers, and Sarah and her friends found themselves facing increasingly sinister manifestations. Shadowy figures lurked in the periphery, their eyes glowing with malice, while disembodied whispers filled the air with dread. As the nights grew longer and the darkness deepened, tensions among the group reached a breaking point. Paranoia set in, fueled by the relentless onslaught of supernatural phenomena. Yet, amidst the chaos and terror, Sarah refused to give up hope. She clung to the belief that somewhere within the heart of Oakwood High lay the key to understanding the truth. And she was determined to find it, no matter the cost. But little did Sarah and her friends know they were not the only ones seeking answers. A darker force lurked in the shadows, watching and waiting. Its intentions failed in darkness. And as the clock struck midnight, signaling the arrival of another dreaded night at Oakwood High, the stage was set for a confrontation that would shake the very foundations of reality itself. As the tension at Oakwood High reached its peak, Sarah and her friends found themselves locked in a battle against forces beyond their comprehension. Every shadow seemed to conceal a new threat, and every sound sent chills down their spines. Desperate for answers, they delved deeper into the heart of the school. Following the trail of clues left behind by those who had come before them, but with each step forward, they only seemed to descend further into darkness. The air grew heavy with the stench of decay, and a sense of impending doom hung over the group like a shroud. Yet, despite the danger that lurked around every corner, they pressed on, driven by a relentless determination to uncover the truth. But as they neared the heart of the mystery, they began to realize that they were not alone. A presence, ancient and malevolent, watched their every move, its sinister gaze following them wherever they went. Whispers echoed through the empty corridors, urging them to turn back before it was too late. But Sarah and her friends refused to heed the warning resolve hardened by the knowledge that they were on the verge of discovering something truly horrifying. And as they finally reached the inner sanctum of Oakwood High, they were met with a sight that chilled them to the bone, for there, standing before them, was the source of all their fear and suffering, a being of pure darkness its eyes burning with an unholy light. With a cold, sinister laugh, it spoke, its voice echoing through the darkness like a death knell. Welcome, it whispered, to your final reckoning. As the being of darkness loomed before them, Sarah and her friends stood frozen in terror. Its presence seemed to drain the very warmth from their souls leaving them feeling cold and hollow, unable to tear their eyes away from the sinister figure. They watched in horror as it began to move closer, its movements slow and deliberate. With each step, the air grew thicker, as if weighted down by the darkness that surrounded them.
Suddenly, a voice broke through the suffocating silence, cutting through the oppressive atmosphere like a knife. It was Emily, the long-lost student whose disappearance had sparked the nightmares that haunted Oakwood High. Leave this place, she warned, her voice filled with an otherworldly echo. You do not belong here. The darkness that dwells within these walls will consume you if you do not heed my words. Sarah and her friends exchanged uneasy glances, unsure of how to respond, but before they could formulate a plan of action, darkness surged forward, enveloping them in its icy embrace. With a scream, Sarah felt herself being dragged into the abyss, her vision fading to black as the tendrils of darkness wrapped around her like chains. And as she tumbled into the depths of the unknown, she realized that they had only scratched the surface of the horrors that lay hidden within Oakwood High. As Sarah descended into the darkness, her mind reeled with fear and confusion. The world around her seemed to warp and twist, as if she had entered a nightmare from which there was no waking. She reached out in desperation, grasping at shadows that slipped through her fingers like smoke. But no matter how hard she tried, she could not escape the suffocating embrace of the darkness. Meanwhile, her friends stood frozen in shock, their minds struggling to comprehend the horrors unfolding before them. They knew they had to act fast if they were to have any hope of saving Sarah from whatever fate awaited her in the depths below. With a collective surge of determination, they rallied together stealing themselves for the battle ahead, armed with whatever courage they could muster. They plunged into the darkness, determined to rescue their friend from the clutches of evil. But as they ventured deeper into the abyss, they quickly realized that they were woefully unprepared for the horrors that awaited them. The darkness seemed to stretch on for eternity, twisting and contorting into nightmarish shapes that defied all logic and reason. Yet, despite the overwhelming odds stacked against them, they pressed on, driven by a fierce determination to save Sarah at any cost, for they knew that if they were to have any hope of escaping the clutches of Oakwood High, they would need to confront the darkness head on and uncover the truth that lay hidden within its depths. As Sarah's friends ventured deeper into the darkness, their senses were assaulted by a cacophony of eerie whispers and sinister laughter. Each step they took seemed to bring them closer to the heart of the nightmare that had consumed Oakwood High. Time lost its meaning as they navigated the twisted labyrinth of shadows, their minds fraying at the edges with each passing moment. Yet, they refused to succumb to despair, drawing strength from the bond that united them in their quest to save Sarah. But as they pressed forward, the darkness seemed to grow denser, its suffocating grip tightening around them like a vice. Shadows danced at the edges of their vision, taunting them with glimpses of horrors too terrible to comprehend. With each passing moment, the line between reality and nightmare blurred, and they found themselves questioning their own sanity. Were they truly within the depths of Oakwood High? Or had they become lost in a twisted realm of madness? Yet, just as they were on the verge of surrendering to the darkness, a faint glimmer of light appeared on the horizon, piercing through the oppressive gloom like a beacon of hope. Heartened by this newfound hope, 
pressed on with renewed determination, their footsteps echoing through the empty void, for they knew that if they were to have any chance of saving Sarah from the clutches of evil, they would need to face their deepest fears and confront the darkness that lurked within their own hearts. As they drew closer to the faint glimmer of light, Sarah's friends felt a surge of both relief and trepidation. The light seemed to pulse and flicker, casting eerie shadows that danced along the walls of the abyss. With each step, the air grew heavier, laden with the weight of centuries-old secrets and the lingering presence of malevolent spirits. Yet, fueled by their determination to rescue Sarah, they pressed on, their hearts pounding in their chests. As they finally reached the source of the light, they found themselves standing before a door. It was old and weathered, its surface marred by age and neglect. But despite its appearance, there was something undeniably ominous about it, as if it held the key to unlocking the darkest secrets of Oakwood High. With a shared glance, Sarah's friends knew that there was no turning back now. Taking a deep breath, they reached out and pushed open the door, stealing themselves for whatever horrors lay beyond. What they found on the other side was beyond anything they could have imagined. The room was bathed in an otherworldly glow, casting strange shadows that writhed and twisted along the walls. In the center of the room stood Sarah, her eyes vacant and hollow as if she had been consumed by the darkness that surrounded her. Yet, despite her eerie appearance, there was a glimmer of recognition in her gaze, as if she were silently pleading for help, with a sense of dread gnawing at their insides. Sarah's friends stepped forward, determined to free her from the grip of evil. But as they drew closer, they realized the true horror of Oakwood High had only just begun to reveal itself. As Sarah's friends approached her, the air seemed to crackle with malevolent energy. Shadows twisted and writhed around them, threatening to engulf them in darkness. With trembling hands, they reached out to touch Sarah, hoping to break the hold that the darkness had on her. But as their fingers brushed against her skin, they recoiled in horror. Sarah's eyes flashed with an otherworldly light, and a sinister smile spread across her lips. It was as if she were no longer herself, but a vessel for the darkness that had consumed her. Desperate to snap her out of whatever trance she was in, Sarah's friends called out to her, their voices echoing through the empty room. Their pleas fell on deaf ears, drowned out by the oppressive silence that surrounded them. As they struggled to come to terms with the horrifying truth, they realized that they were running out of time. The darkness was closing in around them, threatening to swallow them whole if they didn't act fast. With a sense of urgency driving them forward, they resolved to find a way to free Sarah from the clutches of evil, but little did they know, the true horrors of Oakwood High were yet to be revealed, and the darkness that lurked within its walls had only just begun to stir. As Sarah's friends racked their brains for a solution, the oppressive silence of the room weighed heavily upon them. Every moment that passed felt like an eternity the darkness pressing in closer with each passing second. Suddenly, a flicker of movement caught their eye, drawing their attention to a corner of the room where a faint glimmer of light seemed to emanate from the darkness. With cautious steps, they approached the source, their hearts pounding in their chests. 
To their astonishment, they discovered a small, ornate chest hidden amidst the shadows. It was adorned with strange symbols and etchings. Its surface cooled to the touch. With trembling hands, they opened the chest, revealing a collection of ancient artifacts and relics. Among them was a weathered tome. Its pages yellowed with age, and a delicate amulet pulsating with a faint, otherworldly glow. As they studied the artifacts, a sense of unease washed over them. It was as if they had stumbled upon something far older and more powerful than they could have ever imagined. With a newfound sense of purpose, they turned their attention back to Sarah, determined to use the artifacts to break the hold that the darkness had on her. But as they reached out to her once more, a sudden chill filled the air, and the shadows seemed to coalesce into a swirling vortex of darkness. With a deafening roar, the darkness erupted into a tempest of malevolent energy, threatening to consume everything in its path. Sarah's friends braced themselves for the onslaught, knowing that they were facing a force far beyond their comprehension. And as the darkness surged forward, engulfing them in its icy embrace, they knew that their fight was far from over, for the true horror of Oakwood High had yet to reveal itself, and the darkness that dwelled within its walls hungered for their souls. As the swirling vortex of darkness engulfed them, Sarah's friends found themselves trapped in a nightmarish realm, where reality seemed to warp and twist at every turn. Shadows danced around them, whispering sinister secrets that sent shivers down their spines. With each passing moment, the darkness grew stronger, its malevolent energy suffocating them like a vice. Desperate for escape, they clung to the artifacts they had found hoping that they held the key to breaking free from the grip of evil. But as they tried to wield the ancient tome and amulet, they realized that they were no match for the darkness that surrounded them. Their efforts were met with resistance, as if the very fabric of reality itself were fighting against them. With their strength waning and their resolve faltering, they knew running out of options, but just as despair threatened to consume them, a voice broke through the darkness, cutting through the oppressive silence like a beacon of hope. It was Emily, the long-lost student whose disappearance had sparked the nightmares that haunted Oakwood High. Her voice was faint, but filled with determination as if she were guiding them through the darkness from beyond the grave. With newfound resolve, Sarah's friends rallied together, drawing strength from Emily's words.
they refused to give up hope, knowing that they were not alone in their fight against the darkness. And as they pressed forward, guided by Emily's voice, they knew that the true test of their courage still lay ahead, for the darkness that dwelled within Oakwood High was not easily defeated, and the horrors that awaited them were beyond anything they could have ever imagined. As Sarah's friends followed Emily's faint voice through the swirling darkness, they found themselves navigating a labyrinth of twisted corridors and shifting shadows. Each step forward felt like a battle against the oppressive weight of the darkness. But they pressed on, driven by the hope of finding a way to save Sarah and escape Oakwood High. With Emily's guidance, they soon reached a chamber unlike any they had seen before. The air crackled with an otherworldly energy, and the walls seemed to pulse with a faint, ominous glow. In the center of the chamber stood a pedestal, upon which rested a single, ancient artifact, a crystal orb that radiated with a faint, ethereal light. As they approached, they could feel the power emanating from the artifact as if it held the key to unlocking the secrets of Oakwood High. With trembling hands, they reached out to touch the orb, their fingers brushing against its smooth surface. Instantly, a surge of energy coursed through them, filling them with a sense of purpose and determination. But as they tried to harness the power of the artifact, they were met with unexpected resistance, the darkness seemed to recoil from the orb, as if it were protecting something hidden deep within its depths. Undeterred, Sarah's friends redoubled their efforts, channeling every ounce of their strength and willpower into breaking through the darkness's defenses. With each passing moment, they could feel the barrier weakening, inch by agonizing inch, and just as it seemed that they might finally succeed, a deafening roar echoed through the chamber, shaking the very foundations of Oakwood High. With a blinding flash of light, the darkness surged forward, threatening to overwhelm them once more. But Sarah's friends stood their ground, their determination unyielding. With a final push, they shattered the darkness's defenses, unleashing a burst of pure, radiant energy that illuminated the chamber with an otherworldly glow. As the darkness retreated, defeated, Sarah's friends knew that their journey was far from over, for the true horrors of Oakwood High still lay hidden in the shadows, waiting to be revealed. With the darkness momentarily subdued, Sarah's friends seized the opportunity to regroup and catch their breath. The chamber around them was bathed in the soft glow of the crystal orb, casting long shadows that danced along the walls. But their moment of respite was short-lived, for they knew that the true horrors of Oakwood High still lurked in the shadows, waiting to strike when they least expected it. With Emily's voice as their guide, they pressed on, their footsteps echoing through the empty corridors as they ventured deeper into the heart of the school. As they navigated the labyrinthine passages, they couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched. Shadows seemed to dart and shift at the edge of their vision, and whispers echoed through the darkness, taunting them with promises of unspeakable horrors. Yet, despite the overwhelming sense of dread that hung in the air, Sarah's friends refused to back down. They were determined to uncover the truth behind the darkness that plagued Oakwood High, no matter the cost. 
but as they delved deeper into the labyrinth, they soon realized that they were not alone. Something lurked in the shadows, stalking them with an unrelenting hunger that sent shivers down their spines. With each passing moment, the darkness seemed to close in around them, threatening to consume them whole. But Sarah's friends pressed on, their courage bolstered by the knowledge that they were not fighting alone. For they knew that the true power of Oakwood High lay not in its darkness, but in the bonds of friendship and courage that united them in their quest for truth. As Sarah's friends pressed forward, their determination unwavering, they found themselves faced with a final challenge. At the heart of Oakwood High, they discovered a hidden chamber shrouded in darkness, where the true source of the school's haunting awaited. With trembling hands, they stepped into the chamber their hearts pounding in their chests. The air was thick with malevolent energy, and the shadows seemed to writhe and twist around them like living entities. And there, in the center of the chamber, they found what they had been searching for, a portal to the realm of the dead, where the spirits of Oakwood High lingered, trapped between worlds. As they prepared to confront the darkness head on, they were met with a surprising revelation. The spirits of Oakwood High were not malevolent entities seeking to inflict harm, but lost souls yearning for release. With Emily's guidance, Sarah's friends worked together to open the portal, unleashing a burst of pure, radiant energy that banished the darkness once and for all. As the light filled the chamber, the spirits of Oakwood High were freed from their eternal torment, their grateful whispers echoing through the halls. And in that moment, Sarah's friends knew that they had succeeded in their quest. The darkness that had plagued Oakwood High for so long was finally vanquished and the school was free from its haunting grip. As they stepped out into the sunlight, they knew that their journey had come to an end, but the memories of their harrowing ordeal would stay with them forever. A reminder of the true power of friendship and courage in the face of unimaginable darkness.